that's another thing that, you know, cer- certain, that can be a problem for some vegetarians and vegans is, you know, because there are three types of omega-3, right? Mm-hmm. Alpha linoleic acid, which is ALA, eicosapentaenoic acid, which is EPA, which is major, a major a marine source, mm-hmm. right? Is, is mm-hmm. how you get EPA and DHA, dohexaenoic mm-hmm. acid. And EPA and DHA are very important for, you know, for combating impl- inflammation, but also for every cell structure. You need DHA for every cell membrane, particularly mm-hmm. in your brain. So you can convert ALA into <clears throat> those, but it's not very efficient. Women can do it much better because estrogen, at least mm. premenopausal women can do it much better because estrogen activates the enzyme that converts it into it. But um, and there's gene polymorphisms, which are variations in sequence of DNA, which uh, changes the function or changes the function of the gene in a way. So some people have ones that they can't convert ALA into EPA and DHA very well. Uh-huh. So you really have to measure something. Yeah, so get how your do you know if you're one of those people, though, or not? Well, you can do a genetic test. 23andMe mm-hmm. um, measures them. So they, they look at those gene polymorphisms. You know, that's something that's... It used to be $99. They just raised the price to yeah. 199 those bastards. Um, but they're now free and clear. They're, they've cleared up all their issues with the FDA. Some now, of them, though. yeah. So now yeah. they're only gonna. You, so basically, they they had stopped giving health reports. So they were, they would you, know, you could test for your gene polymorphisms, and then they would interpret the data for you and say, mm-hmm. okay, this is what this means for hundreds of them. Right. But now they're only going to do thirty six major right, diseases. Right, right. So you still you know you're gonna you're gonna get some information from them, but there are other sources out there. Um, that have tools like Prometheus, which mm-hmm. uh, allow you to interpret the data. If you don't know anything, they'll, it, it's like $5 and it, it tells you, you know, kind of what your data means. And then they delete it after like 40 days or something. Oh, so wow. It's kind Interesting. Of That's very, cool. yeah. That's I, cool. I'll send you, um, I made a video on it and I have a PDF where I kind of explain it if you're interested, but yeah, cool. that's one way. Uh-huh. And then the other way would be to get your blood levels of omega-3. You can measure EPA and DHA. Mm-hmm. If you're eating a boatload of chia seeds and flax seeds and all these walnuts and you know good sources of ALA and yet you're still like very low levels of EPA and DHA, that might be a sign that you yeah, may have one of those. So then genetic tests would be the next <clears throat> logical step, mm-hmm. right? Um, but that's also something I think that vegetarians and vegans should consider because they're they're very important micronutrients. Mm-hmm. They're both very important. 